what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a review on purchasing a car from vroom if you don't know what vroom is stay tuned uh for today's video before we get into the video make sure to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications and give this video a thumbs up all right so let me see hold on because i'm trying to get some good lightning your girl got a little black because i've been working outside so sis got a little dork let me scoot this back some okay because okay because the light skin is coming in clutch baby bro what are you talking about man per okay so y'all right now i am charging my car so I wanted to do the video in like a different setting um inside of my car so also before we get started if we get any type of views or anything like that with this video um you guys can comment down below if you want me to do a car tour and um show you guys what type of car I got this video don't really pertain to the type of car I got it just more so is gonna go over my experience um, on purchasing a car with the company that I purchased my car with so I'm gonna start with if you want to purchase a car online you have to have patience because the process can be a little lengthy um, if you're not aware of what Vroom is, Vroom is like um, Carvana. So it's like an online car buying company buying pre-owned vehicles with um, mileage, of course, already on it. So um, originally I was not going to get a car. I kind of was just like playing around with it up until I seen that my bank actually uh, approved me of getting a car and i was already kind of upside down with a lot of equity on my jeep that i had so i wanted to get out of that if it was possible i did have to put down um some money towards getting my new car but in the long run um it worked out for me um so let's start here um let's go off of dates so on the 22nd of really the 21st of february is when i started my process i started looking so my bank um recommended um room like i stated it's like carvana so my bank recommended them i started looking on the 21st i, I had an idea of what kind of car i wanted um i just had to find one that was within my budget so since I couldn't get the car that I wanted, I was able to find a car that I was, I'm not going to say settle for because I, I like the car that I got now. I, I picked it. I wanted it, but it wasn't my first choice. I will say that. So I started my process on the 21st. The 22nd is when everything took effect as far as me agreeing to putting, putting money down on my car, um, beginning the process. Now, mind you, Room advised me the process took 14 days, the full process, as far as signing the paperwork and receiving the car and all of that. So, as of the 22nd, like I said, is when I agreed with my bank that, yeah, I want to get the okay. I want to go through with the process. So, the 23rd um, is when I sent over my, my down payment. And my bank sent over their their payment of course for the car um and then as of the 24th is when i received the documentation in the mail so when you do a trading process i guess it could be a little longer because you have to sign uh paperwork um to be submitted back over to them um via fedex overnight it so i received the paperwork on wednesday i ended up mailing the paperwork out on the 18th which was a thursday and from my understanding they didn't get the paperwork until saturday 
but they were advising me they received it on the 19th which I wasn't tripping because like I said as of that point on the 19th is when everything shifted as far as the contact with them so before any of my money was given to them any of my bank's money was given to them I was receiving phone calls from them about the process after they got my money I did not receive no more phone calls so be prepared for that um to stay on top of them and their job okay light skin coming in clutch okay sweetie okay um so boom when the 22nd came which was that following monday no sorry the 29th correction came um mind you i wanted to have all my paperwork and everything done within one week so that the next week I could receive my card that week so when the 29th came that monday i called like you know confirming hey did you guys receive um did you guys receive my my paperwork they said yeah we received the paperwork on the 19th period i'm trying to think of the word that they told me um quality assurance the quality assurance department had to go over my paperwork to make sure that everything was corrected everything was signed and everything was good to go and then it will begin the the process of getting the car shipped out like i said i was already mad because they did not advise me that when i started the process they literally told me 14 days so now i'm counting the whole week that just went by which was five days already or seven days and now y'all talking about extra five days so when i say i was blowing them up i was blowing them up i was calling them probably every time i had a break at work or even putting customers at my job on hold to call them because i wanted my car like i said i sent my money so i wanted my stuff then and there i did not want to wait any longer so i was calling them i was getting transferred to different departments i was getting hung up on i was getting put on long ass holds to wait to speak to somebody and then every time i spoke to somebody i was receiving different information now that right there frustrated the academy because I didn't get at least two people on the road that gave me the same information. Everybody I spoke to was giving me different information. So like I said, I blew them up that freaking Monday. I was not playing with them people. So by the time I got the phone with them, I heard my email go off and they said, you will receive two messages. Um, this, is what, this is what I did keep getting from everybody. You'll receive them two messages saying congratulations your car is on the way so i received their messages on monday i ain't have to wait no full five days i think i was getting on their nerves to the point where they was like let me hear up and get this girl through this process so we can give her a core so boom i got that message on that monday so you know i was suited and booted i was like cool you know the car finna start coming or the delivery guy contacted me and was like yeah i got the the paperwork so there is another car that's coming in the car was in california by the way so there is another car coming in on the 7th which was that sunday he's like so hopefully yours comes with that process normally doesn't take that long sweetie what are you looking at okay so he said normally don't take that long so i was like okay cool yeah i'm still finna call them because i need to know when i'm getting this car mind you like i'm doing a trade-in so i gave them an exact mileage that was on my truck so they said that i could not go over a certain mileage so of course yeah now i'm on 10 about it because i don't want to go over that certain mileage on my car and then now i got to start the whole process over because they also told me that if you go over the mileage that we recommend you which was a thousand miles on your car um, you have to start the whole entire process over because then they was gonna have to give me a whole nother um, uh, Quote on my car So um, when I had talked to them basically the next person I talked to was like, oh, okay So now that it's in the delivery process, it's gonna take an, uh, 14 days. That's when the 14 days start Oh, no, so now I'm counting and then they didn't say 14. They said 14 business days So now I'm counting the 14 days and that was like three weeks out So not this week, but next week I was supposed to receive my car So that I was already on 10 because I was like hold on what every time the process it got to the next step The process started over is the different information they kept giving me so I reached out to the guy that was assisting me with um, from the hub, which is the delivery guy, and he advised me that's the worst case scenario. It'll take that long for you to get your car, and um, it shouldn't take that long. He like once we once they get a carrier assigned to your car to get the car delivered here, we we'll detail the car, we'll go over that, and then it's based upon then once the car gets here as to when you get it, and I'll try to get it to you as soon as possible. So. 
and that um that week they the next day they ended up finding a carrier and then they advised me on the fourth what's with the fourth the fourth is when the car should have been put on the truck to be delivered here to take to the hub so the fourth i didn't even call i was like i'm gonna give them a break because you know i've been blowing they they phone up i'm gonna give them a break i'm gonna call them on friday i called them on friday and it was like oh no the car ain't been picked up yet no that's what i'm thinking why is the car still there so mind you i'm being put on long ass holes waiting on them so i ended up oh Okay, I'm back, y'all. My memory card was full. Okay, so it's giving me very burnt vibes. Um, Wakanda, Black Forever. Okay, there go the light skin popping, melanin popping. So, um, I ended up calling them that Friday, like I said, and the lady that I spoke to was like, um, it looks like the carrier that they found to get the car was supposed to pick it up today when he went to pick it up his truck wasn't working so i was like okay cool but when the lady was calling the lady from room was calling the carrier they wasn't answering so the carrier lady ended up calling me so i had her number in my phone so i was like okay cool when i call back i'm calling her that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call the lady so when i called the lady back the lady was like oh no um the gate where your car is located at is locked Mind you, it was almost 5 o'clock, so business hours was going to be closing. The lady was like, yeah, they're closed on the weekends. So I was on 10s because now I'm not going to get my car on the 7th, like they stated. Because y'all didn't send these people the passcode. And the lady said that they had emailed them to send the passcode. And Vroom just responded to all, talking about some somebody help. So y'all know I was on their phone the whole weekend, blowing their phone up from, set, from Friday to Sunday about my car making sure that they sent the information that they were supposed to send and yeah so that Monday came I was on day line all day Monday making sure that car got picked up and that car was going to be delivered so I spoke to the lady she said yeah the car was picked up um, and it should be here Wednesday now Wednesday that being the the 10th is it the 10th yeah the 10th being the 10th it should be here on wednesday and from that wednesday um that it was going to be up to the delivery company the the hub here in phoenix to see um once they once they receive the car i guess they're supposed to do one more inspection of the car any detailing all of that you know to go up the car to make sure it's good so that Wednesday, yeah, I didn't wait for them to call me. I called them. I really called them before business hours even started. I called them at like 7 o'clock because I was that thirsty for my car. But they didn't answer, so I ended up calling like at 8. The man was in the meeting. He said he was going to have his assistant call me. Now, I could say this much. The guy that I work with at the Hub, he was pretty blunt with everything there was no like type of mixed signals or anything like that when when i spoke to him so him i didn't have an issue with it was everybody else at the hub as far as the sales people i spoke with down to the um contracts department down to the delivery department inside of room itself them is who the people i had an issue with being in, um, informed on different information um different time frames not everybody not being on the same page within a company that's what i did not like because it makes you not want to deal with buying a car online so um his assistant ended up contacting me back saying the car was there um they just gonna verify if um it needed any detailing or anything like that um and then they was going to be able to deliver it that wednesday so i was like oh hell yeah now um mind you i did not drive my truck to work i had drove our rental car to work so i had to have trey come drop the car off to the job because they was gonna drop the car off at the job i was too thirsty to let them drop it off at the house he said we could drop it at the house with your boyfriend um i said yeah no we're not doing that yeah you could bring it right up here so they brought it to my job the man pulled up on the little room truck and he unloaded the truck and then we did the little little inspection where we checked like the blinkers we checked the um 
the horn, the the lights. We did all like the check around to make sure everything was good. And he took the truck and it was good to go. So I had the car for a day. Um, they filled my gas tank up. I can say that much. They did that. Um, they also, um, they didn't charge the car. So I got a half and half car. So they filled my gas tank up, but they did not charge the car. So I had to charge the car, which I didn't mind because I needed to learn the process anyways on how it goes with charging cars. So from there, the next day I was driving the car and the check engine light came on. So now I'm panicking because like, I'm like, oh, these bitches done sold me a lemon. Like, y'all done fucking sold me a fucking lemon while the check engine light on. Now, when the car starts, the car does not make a sound. It makes, like, the little introduction sound. But it doesn't, like, like, you know, like, when you start a regular car, you hear the engine starting up. You don't hear that. So, you can feel it in the car when that check engine light came on. So, when I went to AutoZone, they couldn't pull any code. So, I ended up setting up an appointment at the dealership. And they advised me that they was going to pay for it. But then they switched up and was like, oh, we might not pay for it. We don't know. And I was like, oh, y'all going to pay for it because this ain't got nothing to do with me type shit. But the issue was covered by the dealership. It was a recall on the car and something about an ignition um, coil or something like that. It was covered under warranty. So the car is fine. Everything is good. Um, I would say... 10 out of 10 probably like a six on recommending room to anybody especially if you don't have patience i wouldn't recommend them to nobody but the process is easy i mean it's better than actually going to a dealership and trying to be talked into getting something that you don't want or talked into getting a car and you got such a big car payment on your hand or trying to make you put down such a certain amount of money and having all these dealer fees that's the good part about buying cars online or through a company like them or like Carvana because you don't have to worry about that process of getting a car, um, purchasing a car, and then when you got to finance it, you got to worry about all the dealer fees and stuff like that. They don't have that. They have like their little fees, but it don't, it don't mount up to the dealer fees when you go to the dealership, which mount, rack up to like five dollars $600 on top of your note. And your warranties and all that other stuff that come with the car so that is my experience with room um but um other than that i am out of here this video i think is a little lengthy i was just trying to make sure i got everything in it that i needed but uh thank you guys for watching and tuning in and peace